hello guys welcome to fortune dev academy if this is your first time on the channel then i would appreciate if you drop me one of those subscribes and uh, turn on notifications so you never miss out on any tutorial okay what we'll be going over today is php partial files and what this basically is is in it's a way in php which helps you to save up reusable components in their different files but you can still access them using this include let me show you how it works okay so mm, let me cut this out okay let's visit where this project is located which is the local host um forward slash um, forward slash electronics dot php perfect okay Let's give this a bit of time to load up. As we wait, this is a material, material theme, pale night. Some of you have been asking which theme are you using. This is the theme, material, material theme. So yeah, material theme. I think that's it. Okay. So this is how it looks. And if we inspect this page to view the HTML. You can clearly see, okay, that we made use of a, a nav bar. Oh my God, a lot and uh, tons and tons of HTML. Uh, we created some cards with Bootstrap and all that, but you don't really see where these are, do you? You can't really see this because that's where PHP partial files comes in. Where where is this code? Because when we get back to our code editor, this is all we see. Well, this is being rendered dynamically using PHP, and I'm going to show you exactly how this happens. So, when we visit the header, what we find is just a link, a bootstrap link, and um, a link to my, my custom style sheets. And what we find in the footer is just the closing body tag and HTML, and also obviously fetching our JavaScript. And here is m the main content of the entire website, which is the cards, the products, the images, everything. But what PHP now allows you to do is just to simply use this include, um, specify the path which the, um, the PC will go looking for this file, and it will find the header, bring back the code, you know, it will find this header, and paste that code serve it up in the electronics.php page first okay then it will be followed by the navbar then your cards will also be served up dynamically and finally it will serve up the footer as you can see right here which in the end you end up with um mm, everything that you needed on your page without having to rewrite the code or copy paste so that way you can use this on um several other pages because definitely I'm going to be using this on all my pages so I definitely want a way in which I don't have to repeat myself all I have to do is just include it and everything well goes into place so hopefully I have helped you out with something and this is just a brief intro into PHP partial files uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial from me to you I will peace out